Hi, I'm Brittany with County Systems, and today we're going to be creating a perpetual plaque. And this has two main steps, so we're going to do each step separately. But basically, this product is, what's so neat about it is that you can do different kinds of business promotions, and it's a way for you to constantly and perpetually keep up with your customers and possibly sell and branch out on your business as far as your clientele. So it's a great product. What I brought with me today is my plaque, nice, thick, heavy board, some protective paper. We're going to be using heat tape. I have some glue for attaching my pieces, which is going to be in a different step. So I'll put these to the side for right now. And what we're going to do first is remove the protective film coating on our plaque. Remove my protective film. Get ready to move on to our press. We're going to pre-press our plaque. This is very important because it is a heavier and thicker piece. So when we pre-press it, what we're doing is we're allowing it to be able to have a nice, even color when we do our actual press with our transfer. It's going to look great. So what I've done is given my press some time to heat up. It's at 400 degrees right now. Place a sheet of protective paper. Grab my plaque, add another sheet of protective paper, and again, pre-press is 20 seconds, and I've already set my press for medium pressure. Make sure that you adjust it because the plaques are thick. So now that we've finished our pre-press, I'll grab my image, and I'll show you what's so neat about this. You'll notice that my image is inside this black border, and the way that that's been set up is to make it even easier to line up your plaque because you'll see you have this beveled edge. So if you line up your plaque with your eye view of the black outline, every time it's going to make your image be perfectly in place with your plaque, which is just a great design. Makes everything easier. I'll grab my edges and I'm going to fold them over like a present. Add a piece of heat tape. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Maybe one more piece even. With my last piece of heat tape, we're going to move over to our press. When I'm ready to move to my press, grab a sheet of protective paper, again, on the bottom. Grab our plaque. Flip it so my image is facing down. Add another sheet of protective paper for the top. And we're going to press today at 400 degrees medium pressure. And this time we're going to keep it there for 80 seconds. And that sound means we're done. So we'll lift up on our press. I'm going to remove my transfer right away. Oh wow, that looks amazing. All right, give it just enough time to cool before we actually move it to our table. But it shouldn't be too long, wood doesn't stay hot very long, so just maybe a couple minutes and we'll be ready to move on. I absolutely love how the colors turned out. And again, you want to pay very close attention to this edge. You can see that the color goes straight to the edge. Always remember to keep your heat tape on the back. And when you take off your peel coat, be very careful that you don't chip any quarters. But this is, this is just absolutely perfect. This is our first step. And now I'm going to show you how to do the second step, which is even a little bit easier. Now we're ready to move on to step two. This is our actual little pieces that we're going to put on our plaque. And they are our name badges. Our first step with these is going to be the same thing as the plaque. You'll notice that there's this peel coat. So we're just going to quickly peel back on our film. I'm going to do the same thing on my other pieces. Now I'm going to take my name badges, the plaque inserts, line them up over my image.
sure we get them nice and centered. And then I'll put a piece of heat tape to hold them in place. Last piece. With my heat tape in place, move over to my press. Grab a sheet of protective paper for the bottom. I'm going to take my images, place those on the press. And finally, add a sheet of protective paper on top. We've had to readjust our press. Let's make sure that fits perfectly. We had to readjust our press because the plaque was so thick, so we made it for a medium pressure for the smaller name badges. Again, 400 degrees, and we're going to keep them there for 60 seconds. And that sound means that we're done. So let's remove our transfer from our name badges right away, and then we're going to give them a few minutes to cool. Remember, they are metal, so they are very hot. And they stay hot for a little bit longer than wood would. Okay, there we go. Just going to give those a few minutes to cool, and then I'll show you how we're going to put these with our plaque. The last thing we're going to do to put our plaque inserts on our plaque is I have some E6000 industrial strength glue. I'm going to put just a little bit of glue on the back and I'm going to line it up inside my template. Make sure I'm getting it right inside. I have a little bit of time to move around with the glue, so if it's not on there perfectly, we'll be able to adjust it just a little bit. Let's do our last one. Make them nice and flat. And like I said, one of the best things about this is you'll notice that this is a business of the month. And these are very common, but also it makes you have to print out a new piece for the company every single month, which puts you in constant contact with your clients. And then also the businesses that you're making these for as well will get word of your business. And it's just a really gateway to other companies and having other clients. We're going to go ahead and give this some time to dry, about 24 to 48 hours. You'll want to pay attention to your glue that you're using, the E6000 or another adhesive. Pay attention to your dry times. But again, you can see just how well this product is. Again, it's a nice key to other businesses and different ways of expansion. For more products and services, be sure to visit us at Condi.com and watch more of my videos at ConditV.com. I'm Bernie Condi Systems, and thank you for joining us.